Hello everyone, welcome back to Flight Sim 2020. I noticed in the news today that Mauna Loa, the large volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii, is erupting for the first time in 38 years. The status is unclear about what's going to happen with that. Uh, it's so far just uh, limited to the very top of it. And we'll see, but of course there are warnings and there's smoke and the sky is really red and all that business. But it's sort of a current event flight sort of situation, so I decided that we would try to fly over there and see what's going on in the sim. I doubt there's smoke billowing or, uh, you know, even atmospheric effects right now, though who knows with the weather system. Maybe uh, the weather system has reported, you know, uh, overcast situation of some kind. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll find out that I'm also using this as an opportunity to uh, take a look at the Hawaiian Islands, which I have not managed to uh, tour recently, and uh, some of them I haven't seen in the sim at all. So I decided that we would take off from Honolulu and take a look around and at some of the sites along the way, including this one by the Hi Bijan Hibashi tree pack. There's a bamboo forest there. And then we'll uh, take a look at Mauna Kea, including the observatory there and then Maloa, and then we will land at uh, PHKO which is Ellison Onizuka Kona International. So uh, that is the flight and I'm going to fly the Osprey for this because a helicopter would take a little bit too long to get from place to place. Uh, this way it's an hour long flight and the uh, Osprey still allows me to hover uh, whilst affording me a better view than the F-35 would have from inside the cockpit. So that is the logic and we are in live time with live weather and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we go with the Osprey. It reminds us there to keep buying the cow flap, which I already done. Uh, maybe if I just use the keys. Yeah, as long as I use the keys, it clears that error. But okay, here we are with our nacelles tilted and Full power. I want to back away from that. I don't really want it. Uh, well, let's see. Let's get high enough for it to be satisfied, but I really don't want to keep it at full power for long. Okay, the flap's coming up. Alright, but we do want to tour Oahu a little bit. So we will keep the nacelles tilted as they are. So Honolulu International. Have a tower over here. And a tower over there. The Osprey does yaw much more vigorously than I think is probably realistic here. And on to Pearl Harbor just for a brief bit. Okay. Well, there's the USS Arizona Memorial. We'll just pass by. I think this is a uh, Missouri, is it? All right. On to Honolulu proper. Unfortunately, it's not photogrammetry, so we won't like take it in in detail. Oh, it certainly turned uh, a lot brighter suddenly. Not sure why, but real world weather, so maybe something updated. Okay, Honolulu. Yeah, no uh, particular sights, I don't think that they've added here. And we'll go on to Diamond Head State Park and see that formal, former volcano. I think it was formed by some sort of complex thing though, not just the volcano blowing its top, but it looks like a volcano that has blown its top, that's for sure. And we all hope Mauna Loa doesn't have any particular intentions 
towards that end. So, Diamond Head, Nash, uh, Diamond Head State Park. And on to Molokai. So, we'll uh, reduce our nacelles. Get into horizontal flight. I have to be careful not to overstress it though. It can go pretty fast. I don't need anywhere near a high amount of thrust to get this going fast. So, Okay, well, we're below the clouds there. I don't know, do I want to reduce it to one more degree? Uh, it sort of snaps into place and changes mode like that, but okay. There we go. See, it. Uh, this dynamics very perceptib perceptibly changes. I mean, it's not supposed to from like one degree to zero degrees, but I feel like that's a little bit overdone. But anyway, all right. So Molokai. Probably ought to go a little bit higher for safety's sake. Interesting town right there. That's that town's called Mauna Loa. Over to the left is the Molokai Airport, uh, PHMK. Some other nice towns near the coast here. Uh, Kona Kakai. Kona Kakai is how I want to pronounce that, but I'm not entirely sure it's right. Well, oh, interesting slopes here. Yeah, another creation of the Hawaiian hotspot. I don't know if there's just one or whether there are multiple hotspots. Anyway, next island is Maui. And we can see it in the mist there. Okay, here is Maui. And uh, to our right is the Kapalua Airport, PHJH. Oh, this thing uh, loses speed a lot once you go below 50% throttle. But yep, there's the airport. And on the north side of the island is the city of Kahului. Well, things have gotten quite a bit more cloudy now. Is it the volcano or is it just the natural weather system? Or more everyday weather system, I should say. Of course, the volcano's natural too. Well, this is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, because the ridges can pop up at you all at any time, so. Okay. Well. You're below some of the clouds. Okay, Kahului Airport there. PHOG. You can see the lights at least. We're technically trying to take a look at that bamboo forest that the Bijan Hibashi tree pack added next. I don't know what kind of a look we'll get, but. Well, we are above the cloud as it is. Uh, we're at 7,500 feet. And you can see why I needed to go up to this altitude uh, with the mountains there. Well, I'm not entirely convinced of the smoke. We're probably still too far away for the smoke, maybe? I mean, the big island is next, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know how the weather simulation will take it. 
Okay, well, we're gonna have to have the map open to see where this forest is. The soul's doing their work. Alright, the big mountain on Maui. Sort of a swampy area there. Or at least it looks like it. Okay, well... Not much land left. Let's see where this bamboo forest is. I'll keep it in an external view with the map up, because otherwise I probably won't be able to spot it. And mountain. More mountain. Um, okay. Alright, but I uh, guess we're going fine here. I'm very helicopter-like right now, pitched down 20 degrees. Oh, I think I see it here. It's supposed to be a bamboo forest. Uh, I think that's what these trees are. Uh, the spiky ones. So a special forest added by the Bijan Hibashi tree pack. On this side of Maui. And we proceed and in the distance there we can see the big island. Okay, approaching the big island and we are specifically approaching Upolu Airport, a PHUP. Considering our sights that we're trying to see are high up, I'll just maintain a high altitude. I've still got about 20 degrees pitch on the nacelles so that we can easily transition more into a hover. Well, that's quite a chasm right there. I don't see any particular name on the map. Um, but, uh, I see some lines that indicate it might actually be like this, but that's serious stuff. Pretty dramatic. Yep, and the textures don't quite keep up with those kinds of slopes. They tried, but it didn't quite work out there. We are here. Well, we can see the two big mountains, or, uh, I don't know, there's a third one there, but, um, pretty sure the one directly in front of us is Mauna Kea. I think the one in the, the distance, uh, near right in the cell is, uh, Mauna Loa. This little guy to the right here, I don't know about. Well, it's not very smoky around here, so, the prior clouds were just clouds and we don't have much by way of smoke coming from the volcano over there in fact it's pretty clear over Mauna Loa over there okay I think we can see the observatory there Osprey over Mauna Kea Observatory with Mauna Loa in the background. Uh, 
Okay, well, on to our main target. Well, there's this one dish here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, on to our main target. There are various cones on the map. Mauna Loa, the height is 4,169 meters. Uh, there's a 1940 cone, there's a 1949 cone, there's a red cone, a sulfur cone, a leka cone, and they're all sort of marking a line down to the coast. But yeah, pretty clear over the volcano here. This thing is endless, though. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very, uh, very, very mild slope, and it feels endless trying to get to the peak of it. These shield volcanoes, I swear. And there's Mauna Kea behind us. There is a road up and some buildings over here, of course. From the cockpit, this is how it looks. Looks like an observation post to me. And there's... Object... Of what goes on around here. Blocking out the sun, so it's very dark right now. To have approached from the other side. Okay, well, this should be the peak of it. And tilting down allows us to see this is the caldera, I assume. Um, let's see. I mean, this is the maximum height. I've got that on the moving map that I'm using to navigate in external view. Nice textures here. Definitely they did some work on the textures here. Pretty sure this is what it looks like. I mean, not at the moment though. At the moment probably it looks a little bit more active. I don't know where exactly the other cones are. There's some suspicious circles there. There's other stuff going on around, but... Oh, there's some conage. Some little cones. I think there's another cone right there. But yeah, there are little spots. Where magma-like things can happen. Yep, something definitely happened right there. I don't know what these white streaks are over here though. They don't look like clouds baked into the texture. I don't know what is up right there. On the map it says, maybe it's sulfur cone. Maybe there's... I don't know. Maybe. Sulfur cone. Okay. I am going to head for the airport at this point. Well, nice sunset here as we approach the airport. Not a whole lot of light left here. Basically managed to do the flight at the right time. Maybe I'll land on the apron. Jeez. Save us all a lot of trouble. Or this set of taxiways seems fine to me. Uh, as usual, finding the sweet spot for it is a little bit difficult. Sink 
Oh, 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 okay. That was not ideal. Okay, stop, please. Okay, yeah. Well, not the ideal landing to end that, but we're st I'm still learning the Osprey here, so we're lucky I didn't do anything worse. All right, well, that has been the tour of the Hawaiian Islands from Honolulu to, uh, to the Big Island and our look at Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.